Hello and thank you for tuning in with us here at Eastland Holiness Church broadcast. We're still not in the church, but we are hoping that that day is soon approaching and we're so glad to be able to take this time to come to you and, uh, and uh, communicate with our people and tell you that we love you and uh, want you to hold on. Don't get faint and hearted. Uh, the Bible says, be not weary and well-doing, for in due season we'll reap if we faint not. And so we don't want you to faint, but we want you to take courage. The Lord is nigh, and uh, he's right beside us. He's with us, and uh, he's never failed us. And uh, we uh, don't believe that he's going to. Just don't believe that at all, that the Lord will fail his people. I've never seen him fail, and uh, God can do anything but fail, and we praise him for that. And tonight we'd like for you to remember uh, some sick folk uh, uh, that is real bad sick. Uh, we uh, got some folks that we may not say their name, but uh, some people that we know that has got the virus that's going around um, that uh, folks has uh, told me about. We want you to pray for them. Uh, ask the Lord to touch all of them that is infected uh, with that coronavirus and uh, touch them and uh, most of all deal with their hearts if they're lost. And uh, we know that the Lord is a keeper, and uh, and He wants to come to people. Uh, he He comes in many ways to speak to their heart, to humble them down, uh, to get our attention, and it's all for the, our, our soul's benefit. But uh, we want you to pray uh, for the, all the people that's infected with that coronavirus. Uh, pray for them that the Lord spare them, and uh, most of all, that the Lord save them. Uh, we want you to remember uh, Mike Whitman's family, uh, John, his sisters, remember them, and all his family and his mom, pray for them. Um, my brother Mike passed away there a few days ago, I'd like for you to remember that family. Remember uh, uh, little Donna Sizemore's family there, they found her the other day there and had been in search for her about a, few, a couple weeks and uh, they finally found her, and uh, so that helped the family to get closure on that. But pray for her family, little Leah, and all of them, and, and uh, Floyd Jr., pray for Floyd Jr., and remember all his family, uh, pray for them. And uh, we'd like to give a uh, shout-out to Nick Long, old Bub Long. We hope he's doing well. Talked to him there the other day, and uh, we love him so much. And uh, we'd like for uh, folks to remember him and uh, pray for him. And uh, 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 Sarah and Keegan, pray for them. They got saved not long ago. And I uh, ain't got to go to church a whole lot through this, so we'd like for you to remember them and all the young people of our churches everywhere. Remember our churches that we fellowship with and their pastors. Pray for them. Uh, pray for our, our older folks. Remember them. Uh, and ask the Lord to touch them and give them strength. We know that they're grieved, uh, not being able to go to the house of God, but... Uh, like I said, we're longing for that day. We're looking for that day and hoping it's drawing soon. Uh, we appreciate everybody that's helped us for the church renovation. Uh, it's went well, and we thank the Lord for that. And uh, This is my chance to communicate with our people in London, but not only uh, uh, the London people, but everywhere. And we appreciate all the comments uh, and all the texts and uh, everything everybody said, encouraging our hearts uh, to be able to uh, bring forth the word and the songs uh, to try to help you. Uh, we're in no wise trying to do this to, uh, um, for any popularity, but trying to communicate with our people, uh, tell them to hold on and to uh, uh, get the word out there uh, to our people to preach. The Bible said if the gospel be hid, it's hid from the lost. So uh, we uh, like for you to remember all the folks that's uh, backslid and all of our center people. Uh, we're hoping that this is a wake-up call and uh, see what we had. We had the best thing going, and that's the Spirit of God in the house of God. And I, I'm glad I can feel His Spirit without being in the house of God, but i like for the sinner people to come to the church and be able to pray and deal with their hearts. So remember all them, and uh, we want you uh, to be in much prayer uh, for all the preachers and the pastors. Uh, it's, it's hard not to get to see your people you see their faces in your mind and hope all is well. Uh, we love you, so uh, please uh, pray for all the pastors. Pray for all of our church people. Uh, we're, we're a close-knit bunch. The homeless people are, 
and we're so used to seeing one another. And I can name churches, but you know, uh, you, you know where we go to church at, and where we visit at, and all you brothers and sisters that we've uh, worshipped God with for years. And uh, let's pray that uh, the churches get to get to congregate again. So let's do that. Let's pray that the Lord stay the hand of this plague uh, that's on the whole world right now. And pray for that. Uh, most of all, uh, we want, want uh, to remember all the lost people that needs to turn their heart to God. So let's, let's go before the Lord and pray. We want you to worship the Lord with us for what short time we're here today. And uh, uh, pull out that Bible, read with us, sing with us. Do how you feel. Let the power of God come by and get down in the house. And it's wonderful to be able to feel his spirit and to know that he's alive and sitting at the right hand side of the Father. Let's go before the Lord and pray today. You know, humble Lord, we thank you for your mercy, your grace, your peace, your kindness. We thank you, Lord, for another day of life, Lord. We ask, Lord, that you touch all them, Lord, that's sick with this virus. Touch them, Lord. Most of all, Lord, we ask, Lord, that you save them and give them strength, Lord. God, we ask, Lord, that you bless all of our elder people, Lord, and all of our older folks. Lord, in the church, Lord, touch them tonight, Lord, and today, Lord, and let them know, Lord, that you care, Lord, that you're holding to them. Embrace them with your love, Lord. Lord, touch the young ones tonight, Lord, that ain't been saved long. Touch them, Lord. Visit them, Lord, with your great spirit, Lord, and your mercy and your power. Let them feel your goodness, Lord, that great and only that Holy Ghost get upon them. How we honor you today, Lord. Bless all the preachers, the prophets, Lord the singers, Lord, and the members of your body, Lord. We ask that you bless them today. In Jesus' holy, sweet name we pray. Touch all these requests, Lord, that's been given today. And we ask, Lord, that you move in each and every one of them according to your will. In Jesus' good name we pray. Amen. Oh, 
said there are many devices in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord, that shall stand. And I love to put my trust in the counsel of the Lord. And I, I thought we'd like to go to the word real shortly here, or however the Lord, Lord permits. But in the book of Ecclesiastes, uh, chapter 3, looks like about eight verses here, we like to share with you. In Ecclesiastes chapter 3, if you got your Bibles, we recommend that you pull that out and read along with us. Praise the Lord. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, starting at verse 1. To the younger folks, that is in the Old Testament, and it's after Psalms and Proverbs. That's in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3. But the Bible says, to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to life, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace, a time to and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to get and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to cast away, a time to rend and a time to sow, a time to keep silence and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace. What profit hath he that worketh in that wherein he laboreth? That was about nine verses, sorry. But I thought tonight that got on our hearts about there's a time, uh, there's a purpose and a time for everything. Bible said to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under under uh, uh, the heaven. Amen. And I, I begin to think about the time that we're going through now. Amen. And, how that uh, months ago we never know that a time like this would come upon us. But uh, whether or not we want to realize it or face the facts, it's here. Amen. Thank God. And I'm glad that I'm living down in a time like this. I've preached about it. I've sung about it. And now we're living right down in a time that we see the Word of God being fulfilled now greater than I've ever seen. And I, I'm glad that I'm on the right side. And I, I'm glad that I'm bought by the blood and that my name is written down in the book of life. And I've got a right to rejoice tonight. I thought when the disciples uh, come to Jesus and they told him, they said, oh, Master, even, uh, maybe even the devils are subject to us. I thank God, but he said, told him, he said, I'd rather not rejoice because the devils are subject to you, but I think I'd rather rejoice because your name is written in the book of life. Amen. And I'm glad that I can say that my name is written in the book of life. Can you say that tonight? Amen. That you've got strength from God, that you know for a surety that the Lord is saved and wrote your name down. Amen. And I begin to think about the time that we're living in. And uh, sometimes there's a time to laugh. And uh, then after the laughter's over, something more will hit you and you'll mourn. And I thought maybe this week my wife and I, she's had me planting a little bit. And I uh, thank God we're putting in the garden some. And uh, we're looking to be able to reap from that. There's a time to plant. There's a time to gather up that that you planted and reap for it. And I thought what well, time we're going through right now it's just a little season, amen. And, uh, I thought the Bible said uh, that we can may endure for that, but a joy cometh in the morning, amen. But thank God I'm glad I can tell him that I'm a donkey and I feel the Lord. I 
up and getting them up on me. Hallelujah. They said, Time the Lord has got everything under control. And I thought me and you, man, we may not say we may say, well, I've never seen a time like this. But ain't you glad that God knew that there was going to be a time like this? And ain't a certain season I thank God that me and you just got to go through. We may go through some darkness, we may go through some trouble, but ain't you glad that victory is on the other side? Amen. I thought about the little woman. I praise the Lord. She was going hungry and she just had a little bit of meal, a little handful of meal. And when the man of God come to her and told her, said, I think me a little cake first. She said, sir, I just got a handful of meal. And said, me and my son, we gathered sticks and we're going to go in and make a cake and eat it and die. Amen. That was a mournful time. Praise the Lord. But I thought what the man of God told her. He said, make me a little cake first, amen. And when she made that little cake, thank God for that man of God. I thank God every time that she went down in the barrel and every time she had that all there, that was a time of rejoicing, amen. I thank God we may mourn for a little while but there's going to come a time that we're going to rejoice. Amen. The Bible said I let the redeemed of the Lord say so. And I feel I can't believe to that, thank God. By his strength, by his power, by his grace and by his blood. We can may endure for a night, but joy I come into the morning. Sure we're in a press. Sure we see a lot of darkness. Sure we hear a lot of bad news. But I've got some good news for you today. The Bible said what so manner of love that the Father hath bestowed upon us that we shall be called the sons of God. Amen. Ain't that wonderful? Ain't that wonderful? Oh, church, listen to me. Hallelujah. You that's not been praying long. Seems like I've just had a burden uh, for those that ain't been praying long. Hang in there. This is just a season that we're going through. The Bible said the thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. He wants to destroy you. He wants to take your victory. He wants you to see all the negativity that's going on in the, the world and in the life. He even wants to come to you and tell you that there is no God. But in the book, in the book of Psalms, it said, The fool has said, There is no God. Amen. When I look around, I see the trees. I see the sky and the clouds and the grass. Amen. I know there's a God. But more than that, I can feel it. I feel his son that he sent down upon me. I feel that Holy Ghost and his son say it's expedient that I go not away. If I go not away, the comfort will not come. And it is the spirit of truth. Amen. I thank God I know that he's alive today. May not preach a long time. I'm the same and hell of me. I'm shut up all the time. But I'm glad I can feel the spirit of God. I'm dealing with my heart today. I know what side I'm on. And I know that I'm going to come out victorious. I've told our people for years and I've read the end of the book. I went to the end of the book one time and I read in. And it ended we come out victorious. And it ended with an amen. I thank God we've got battles we've got to go through. But we'll come out with victory out of a while. And in the end of the book says that we've won the battle. We've won the war. I thank God, hallelujah, and he told John, he said, who are these? He said, sir, thou knowest, hallelujah, he said, these are they that came up out of the great tribulation, who are the rose washed out in the blood of the Lamb, ain't you glad, I found it in the town, I wonder if old John seen me march through there, I wonder if he seen my face as they went through, hallelujah, I want my name to be down in the book of life. And make sure that I've got full assurance that this place is not my home, but there's a better home that's awaiting, and it's called heaven. He said, And I, John, saw that holy city, that new Jerusalem coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Children, that sounds so good. There's a time and a season for everything. Well, the Lord know this. Years ago, he know this from the beginning, that there'd come a time like this. Praise the Lord. He know who would be going through this. Oh, but I want to endure. Young people, listen to me. Endure hardness as a good soldier. 
Endure hardness as a good soldier. When that enemy battles you and you come, he comes to you and tells you, you ain't got nobody I can go to. I got no preacher. I've got no prophet. I need to hear some words from heaven. You flip that book open and you begin to read and you'll find comfort. You'll find comfort. I heard him say in his scripture, he said, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. I will come to you. What about that, boys? What about a Lord that said, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Hallelujah. What about, what about a Savior that will come to you? Oh, glory. He's watching over all these little children throughout the whole world. Through the different states, he sees what's going on. There might be somebody praying now in one state being talking in another and somebody in a completely different area talking. And the good thing about him is, hallelujah, he hears us all at one time. Hallelujah, he don't put you on hold. But he's right there. He's right there. Hallelujah. I feel the holiness of God. Hallelujah. I feel the holiness of God. Are you going to get that of my soul? Hallelujah. Oh, what about a Savior? What about a God that will hold you and keep you and embrace you from trouble? Hallelujah. When he looked down at Jerusalem, he said, Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, how long till I gathered you? Oh, just like a Children, but he said you would not. Hallelujah, I want to be one of them. So, Lord, yes, put me under your wings. Hand me, secure me, Lord. Keep me from the storm. Shelter me, Lord. Shelter me in the time of trouble. That's the kind of Savior he is, children. He wants to embrace you. This is just a certain season. Hallelujah, I don't know why the sun's going to shine again. Hallelujah, the sun's going to shine again. Hallelujah, right at you. Storm. He's, he's with you through the wind. He's with you through the storm. He's with you through the rain. And he'll come out victorious. Amen. I ain't got much today we want to share with you. I want to come to you today. The scriptures come to us. But to everything, there is a season and a time to every purpose under heaven. Praise the Lord. Elder, I hope I helped you a little bit tonight. I know I ain't got a whole lot, but I tell you what, I thank God for what I felt. You know me to talk to you. I felt the ominous of God begin to get down in my soul. I felt that ominous of God. He's such a wonderful Savior. He's good to us. He wants you to stay with him. Stay with him. Get a tighter hold. Young people get a tighter hold. Older folks get a tighter hold. Pray out to him. Call out to him. Take time. Don't get so wrapped up in this life of what's going on. But you find yourself covered, covered by the great blood and that great hand of God. Oh, good humble Savior. How I love him tonight. He'll embrace you, children. He loves you. He loves you. We may sing another song here. If you'd like to pray with us wherever you're at, take a little time out to pray. Hallelujah. We may go before the Lord here shortly after we sing. We want to give somebody a chance to pray. I always like doing that because somebody might be somewhere here in this that they just feel the Lord dealing with their heart and stop what they're doing to pray. Praise the Lord. We may go say that something for you. Praise the good Lamb of God. How we love you, good Uncle Savior.